Well, good morning, West Texans, all you good, fine, friendly folks out there who wish you were. I'm Ryan Hyatt, the RaiderLand.com, where you start your day. Check out our overrated, rated, right, underrated Wednesday column for today and those cool Raiderland hot links as well. All right, so yesterday, the Big 12, the first of the major conferences to agree to a settlement involving an NCAA NIL lawsuit. This is a $2 billion lawsuit. It takes a long time to go through all the details. I highly recommend reading Yahoo Sports Ross Dellinger's features, articles, and columns on this, you'll understand. The question, though, becomes, why was the Big 12 the first one to say, we'll agree to pay upwards of $660 million in this $2 billion lawsuit? Uh, it's pretty simple. I think this is a classic case of doing something publicly, knowing that it's not going to cost you anything, probably. I don't think this settlement's going to be reached. Uh, there's an unfair burden on the non-Power 5 schools. There are other major conferences that kind of wonder exactly what this might lead to, even though there's speculation that this could even grow to over $30 billion if they don't get to an agreement, if they don't get a settlement. The NCAA keeps losing in court. So the Big 12 says yes. I think they're doing that to say, hey, we tried. We were out there. We were there for you, student athletes. We were there for you. And I, we, knowing full well that this ain't going to happen. So it doesn't cost them anything. It's a nice PR move. And, though, and I'm not saying that there are some probably in the Big 12 who really do actually want to settle this thing now, that there's just no way it looks like the way it is structured that this thing is going to get through the NCAA membership as it's structured at this time. So the Big 12 looks good. They look like they're doing something. And at the end of the day, it's not going to cost them anything. Sound familiar? Sounds like politicians, doesn't it? Sounds like a show vote. Sounds like uh, what we see in Austin and Washington all the time. We'll talk more about this tonight on the Daily Broadcast 630. Join us live on Twitter Live, on YouTube Live, and on Facebook Live. Meanwhile, check out what we got there at the website every day at theraiderland.com.